Hey guys, it's Anne, and today I'm going to show you my updated otaku room for 2020. I actually got a request for this not too long ago to uh, show an updated version, so I'm going to do it. And also, this is a big thank you to 400 subscribers. I am over the moon, like, at how fast this is growing. I feel like every month I'm making a new thank you video for another milestone, and honestly, I'm so ecstatic. I got a microphone because I wanted to have better quality videos, and I hope you guys can see that. I am very happy. I'm ecstatic. I, I don't know how to describe it. So without further ado, let's get into my otaku room. Here is my front door. It's just a white door that needs to be repainted, honestly. And we go in, and the first thing you see is an ironing board because uh, I actually do like to iron my clothes. And then if we go to the other side, there is a mirror, a full length mirror, because it's nice to see what you're wearing. And then let's close the door. I have a calendar because uh, I need reminders of what I have to do. Then down here, I actually have um, old AX passes. There's quite a few, um, I think like four from different years I've gone. Then we come over here. I have two anime movies. Well, actually, this is a Studio Ghibli collection. So it's every Studio Ghibli movie. Um, I got that for my birthday like two years ago, and then I have No Game No Life Zero because I'm a huge No Game No Life fan. Then the next thing on the bookcase is I have a few purses because I don't know where to put them. And then over here I have some art books. This is the newest one I just got, which is uh, the artist who did um, Promise Neverland. And then down here I have a camera, the case for my switch, some chargers, and then down here I have my Junji Ito collection with my Magikarp collection because I'm a big Junji Ito fan and I love Magikarp. It's my favorite Pokemon. This one fell over, so it's not gonna stay up. But yeah, that's, that's that. Then let's go back up. On this wall, I actually got these shelves from a store called Ross. I wanted to buy more, but I could only find these three. And I've put my Nendroid collection. Well, not all my Nendroids, but a few of them. And I think it looks really, really good. I really like the shelving unit. I really wish I could find more. I went to different Rosses in my location and I just couldn't find more. So sad. And then I couldn't find them online because the box literally said metal wall shelf and no brand, no barcode, nothing. So I can't find them, but they look cute. Over here, I have just a lamp, uh, a plant, a no face piggy bank. I feel like some people might have seen this. Uh, you put a coin in and he eats it. And back here, I have my PlayStation 2 because I've been playing Kingdom Hearts. Then this is just a dresser where I keep clothes, my TV where I watch anime and play games on. And then over here is my Switch. I got this really cute case that's like a cat paws and then I got this controller for it and I just love it, it's so adorable. But over here I have my uh, NES with some classic games. I have Super Mario 3 on there. And then below is uh, Zelda. I have a dehumidifier because my room can get hot. Over here is a fan, it's currently going. You might be able to hear it right now. And then over here, I have my, uh, my two Ida bags. This is my waifu Ida bag, and this is my Magikarp Ida bag, but my Magikarp one needs more pins, honestly. 
over here is what you guys normally see. You guys normally see my bookcase. I wish it would focus. Uh, up there I have three art prints I got from AX two years ago. I can't find the artist. I really want to because I want to buy more prints. And yeah, this is what you guys normally see. I have a, a video on my channel that shows you my mom collection, so you've probably already seen what's on these cases. But just a quick overview. I have these acrylic stands that I think are really cute. And they're the Kimitsu no Yaiba characters. Then I just got some other little figures and nendroids I like to just keep around. And just a quick overview of like my figures. But again, I feel like you guys have seen this part. Over here in this corner, I have a few plushies that I've got from AX. And over there, there's a ladder that I used to get to the top uh, shelves because I am a short person. And then this is an ottoman. I normally keep my electronics in there, like my computers and chargers and stuff. Over here, I have like a light novel and I got this like Kagami lighter from Mexico and it's like so unofficial, it's like funny. I'm currently reading the second light novel of uh, Shield Hero. I really enjoy the series so far. Then over here, I have this mug that I really like and it's a lucky cat. Then this is my bed. Focus, there we go. I have this bunny plushie. It's from a clamp series that I can't remember the name of right now. And then I have these pillows that are really, really squishy. I got them from a Japanese store. Um, and I've got them over the years. My oldest one is this one. And he is a complete marshmallow. He is kind of deformed at this point. But like if we move things on my bed, I actually have this free pillow that my mom got me from Mexico a few years ago. I just think it's really funny that my mom got me basically shirtless boys. Oop. And then over here, if we remove my little cat. So yes, this is my husbando Shizuo. Um, I could only find half of him. Sadly, I wanted the full Daikimakura, but I could not find a full one. So yeah, that's it. Let's put the cat back on him. Over there I have artwork that's like not anime related whatsoever. And then over here I have my Lukua hat because two years ago at Anime Expo I did cosplay as her. I'll put a picture up right now. And then over here is my bedside table where I keep more clothes. And then here I have what I'm currently reading right now which is Hanakimi. It's a really old fashioned shoujo. My remote, the remote for the fan. Over here, I this is a hippo Russian doll. I don't know if you guys can see that. Jewelry boxes. Over here, I have uh, some equipment I use for filming. And then over here is just like my closet. Um, here's a little secret. Uh, the clothes I normally wear in my videos are actually my pajamas. Uh, I have a lot of like otaku-ish pajama clothes. So that's what I normally wear, but in my everyday life, I actually really like dresses and really bright colors and florals. So that's what I normally wear. Oh, but over here, this is my Magikarp cosplay that I wore two years ago at AX. I'm keeping it because uh, it took me so long to make this bra that uh, I'm not throwing it away. I'm probably gonna rewear it. I'm probably gonna modify it for next AX. Hopefully that happens. All right. This is a quick overview of my room. Oh, there's one more thing I can show you, and it's actually down here. I have to bend down to show you. It's actually this. This is my console uh, area, I guess you could say, where I keep all my consoles. I'm a big fan of old games, so let me pull one out to show you. So like this is one of them, one of the boxes I have, and in here I have uh, a Genesis with the controllers and all the cables, and there's even a game in there, which is a Sonic. I thought I had my 64 in there. Huh. Oh well, it's probably down there. I have a GameCube and a PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, a Wii, uh, a 64, a Genesis. I just like old games. So that's what I keep down there. And now I can't put it back. Oh wait, it went back. And yeah. 
so that is it um yeah it's honestly pretty simple it's it's just a bedroom where i keep my otaku stuff and yeah all right that was it um i really wanted to create a room that was both functional but also something i wanted i honestly i don't have many otaku friends so i want to make my space like show me but also be a place that's comfortable enough for my non-otaku friends to come and hang out with this is honestly the best space ever to just sit down anywhere on the floor on my ottoman on my bed and read manga or play a video game or just do anything watch movies watch anime and that's i'm just so happy with how my room is right now i'm very excited about it anyway thank you guys again so much for 400 subscribers i can't thank you guys enough um yeah thank you guys thank you uh also i did get a haircut if anyone noticed that uh i like short hair if you go to the beginning of my channel i had a pixie cut i've been growing it out though but like long hair is just not my thing really anyway thank you guys so much for watching i'm Anne, and i hope to see you guys in the next video thank you so much bye